Good evening. Tonight I am going to sound like a drunk. Good evening, I'm Van Tu. You may have seen our newest reporter, AJ, on NBC North Dakota News, and he'll be joining the weekend news team as my co-anchor. Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. Um, thanks, Van. I'm very excited. I graduated from West Virginia University, and I'm used to, um, you know, from being from the East Coast. The Brewers came up with a handful of great... Continue, continue, continue. Oh, yes. He's out there with a kid like Cameron Robinson and what? At the location where he dropped his police on the Auditors last year found the state. Hello, nice to see you. A quarter million people attending our state. It's affected so many people from those Oakland parents uh, up to the strangers who felt compelled tonight in Walnut Creek to come together for the vigil. Starting at Houghton Avenue and going all the way to State Avenue. Drivers are down to the single lane in each direction. Chris Belisario, the stilt walker. I was originally going to come uh, in between her uh, legs, but yeah, that's not what was not going to happen. Mark has a little wiener. Have you ever dressed the wiener up? Yeah, I do. He's, um, <laughs> what are you doing? He's, uh, actually, I had a bug there for a second. <laughs> he's, uh, I thought he's, something happened. What have you dressed him in, Mark? Come on, be honest. Mark? Long John's? <laughs> Long. No, really? Yeah. So, that's adorable. You'd win. The Martin Luther King Monument. Of the Samadama, I'm sorry, Maha Sabadama Maharaj. This is a did. Don't have IFB. I don't know when we're going. Neither does Jim. I can't get this thing in there. We apologize for that. Hmm? What? What? Right now? Natalie? This is gonna be the death of me. It's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm on now. Linda Carson, ABC7. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! <laughs> At the uh, Community Shield game, uh, much. Oh, I'm gonna make a so hot. I'm not going to get in trouble. It worked in practice. <laughs> but any nor'easter grinds up the sand. And Barbell. And rebuilt from the ground up. I don't think that teacher should be allowed back at school. In Lake Station, Indiana, Roseanne Teus. I think as of right now, listening to all of the fans and uh, fans behind me, um, they don't uh, really care about that at this point. I feel like A&M is going to do a great job because Johnny just got the Heisman. This is why I like it. you. This is why I like you very much. <laughs> you, like you yeah, very these much. are high, high-minded fans for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, sure. What do you think about the game? I'm, I'm all for oh, oh my. Oh gosh, you guys, you oh guys, my. we are live. Giga Maggie. All right. Well, Giga. Yes. We are going to win. We have always been great in this, like, SEC. We have been great in the SEC. We have, like, definitely found our spot in the SEC, so we're going to win. Oh, you Stop. have nothing on us. Come on, y'all. I could not have said it any better. He said, Kapuya, Kapuya. And your boy that hell just came in. I looked at my, opened my door, and I looked at my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running, and ran to my restroom, and then I called my mama to see what she all right. People. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she's homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she runs to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. They could get a new poop pope sooner than expected. The study's being published today in the Annals of Neurology. There's still plenty of time to take part in our last stuff a butt a bus event of the season. Illegal butt injections. 
I'm Luann Khan with the NBC 10 investigators. We're Who am I chasing? I'm so sorry. And Hugh Janus turning 10. We'd mentioned. I'm sorry. What? What? I'm sorry. It's it's one of those. It's one of those. Oh, <laughs> I, I totally fell for it, didn't I? For $64, a professional instructor will take you for a three hour heart pounding lap ride. $190. A three lap ride. Three lap ride, thank you. Not a lap ride. <laughs> Four hundred ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you can leave them on the street. <laughs> of potentially warmer than average temperature, so it looks like whoa! I I am a Smurf. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All I need, all I need is the white hat. Not showing any rain in Southwest Florida. It is showing Jeff Butera though. It's 31 days until spring. <laughs> Headed for. Woo! That was scary. Sorry, a light just blew out. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just, it's like dripping stuff. It's okay. Okay. It's like uh, not good. Tuesday, 59 degrees. Wednesday, 50 <laughs> there we go. That looks good. That looks good. 63 oh. on your Saturday. And uh, temperature wise, <laughs> there, there we go for the Orange County coastal areas. Look at that. They're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, it's chilly. That's right. 59 degrees uh, today. Wednesday, chance of some rain. <laughs> Rain showers. Suddenly, Sam's like, why did I get into the entertainment business? I hear Dave, but I don't hear on air. Well, of course, there's nothing on air. Maybe that's why we don't hear anything. There's, there's no audio on air. What do you mean there's no audio on air? Because it's just the radar. What's happened to audio? Well, because we aren't, we aren't usually on at this time. There's nothing usually on. It's nothing like, is on the station? We're in sign-off sign mode at this time. I didn't even realize we ever signed off. Good morning, how are you doing? That's Lily, she's our new grad. Our Lily new and I go way back, so don't worry about Lily. Let me tell you about Lily. Okay, right, Lily? To pull this table up because they can see it in the shot now. Here's the big, excuse me, big picture. We've all had the hiccups before, right? Cy Cypress to Copperfield as well. 536, excuse me. Scattered showers and a couple of th thunderstorms during the overnight. A compared to heavy rain, <laughs> excuse me. Re Record low temperatures. <clears throat> and then a mountain shower on Sunday. The rest of us will clear out only 54, though. Bone chilling. <laughs> Next week, dry as a bone. Look at this beautiful shot this afternoon. You can. Wow! Yeah, y'all! Yeah, 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 um, yeah, it's, it's, so it's gonna be kind of cold today. Temps in the 30s. By tonight, we should see some clearing skies. All right, you have a good one. <laughs> So I don't want to explain anything that's more. True, we'll just, that's true. That's true. Just leave it at that. She's got quite the uterus. I'll just say that much. <laughs> <laughs> Satellite radar shot this morning. <laughs> You're just saying. I know you. you I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Satellite radar. <laughs> Clear skies. Seventy-three. That's what her husband said to you. <laughs> 73. This is 92. Such a hot human. We got to get serious because we got the news to do. Back to you. Natalie. <laughs> Excuse me. Jory. いらっしゃいます。山本博さんと共にブエノサイレスにいらっしゃいます。他刚好跟苏贞昌见面，我跟他，我问他说，我说那你跟他，你有没有问苏贞昌他为什么不做副手？的这位外籍人士他也，他说
So uh, you're going to do a spoken word for us now, right? Right. And uh, tell us what we're about to hear. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up as freestyle. I Freestyle. Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... Uh, this is a lie. Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah. And it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 9.45. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is <laughs> snowing, and it sucks here. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Holy Christ. Holy Christ. Holy Christ. Holy Christ. Holy Christ. Holy Christ. So what are some things with higher approval ratings than Congress? Cockroaches, head lice, root canals, traffic jams, used car salesmen, Donald Trump, Genghis Khan, and NFL replacement refs. Oh, how are we going to do? Okay, can I talk and you do that? Okay. Yeah, because we don't have any graphics, so all I was right. doing them, so. Yeah. All right, here we go. But it wasn't all bad news for Congress. They still managed to get better approval than uh, ratings than telemarketers, playground bullies. <laughs> Meth. I don't know how to do meth labs. <laughs> meth labs, STD. I don't know how to do STDs either. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I was just waiting for that. And Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> okay. She's always drunk. That's Lindsay Lohan. It's oh Lilo. Oh my goodness. It was another day on the job for Mike Helgren, an up-and-coming reporter at the CBS affiliate in Baltimore. He was covering the case of a man who assaulted a woman after a fender bender. And police really want to get this guy that... But look at what happened when they flashed the police sketch of the suspect. Police are on the hunt for the man resembling this sketch. Wait a second. Look at these two faces side by side. See any resemblance? Not a chance. This is solved. This is no cold cake. That's the, <laughs> that's the magic admit, of television. You better be glad you weren't on the on the story. Yeah, because no they kidding. would have hauled you away. He needs some makeup. I know. <laughs> I've got some to spare. If you DVR us, go back and it'll make all sense if you look at the piece. KTV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Lo, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. Biting the tire, puncturing it. The cop changed the tire, but when he returned, the bull mastiff cross again attacked his tire, again puncturing it. Another sergeant came to the officer's aid, but he too had his tire attacked and punctured. So an animal control officer was called in, but yes, he too had his tire attacked and punctured. The school CEO Barbara Bird Bennett also released a written statement today. She spoke of hoping for a very smooth and safe transition and she plans to work on that throughout the summer. Be warned, police are on the lookout and if you get a, a fine, it's unlikely you'll do that. AT&T store here in Houston were robbed at gunpoint because people knew that they were there with their cell phones and there were, there were a few people there. So I want people to be aware that if you decide that you're going to come out and wait in line, you got to take that into consideration. Hello, and I rushed over here from MetLife doing the game with John, the Jets-Bucks game, because you guys announced this morning that who, what other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the halftime show. So I'm excited to hear about that. Hopefully I can meet them and Straight next time, can you tell me to wear a little sunscreen? This is from Jets Bucks. Are you joking? Un darba zonās un vietās metāliskās skavas. Pakaž. An den tiefer gelegenen Gebieten ist etwas rübergeschwappt ist. Im Moment hofft man hier in Norddeich, dass der Wind so lausch bleibt, wie er im Moment ist. Und vor allen Dingen, dass er weiterhin aus südwestlichen Richtungen weht. Denn dann kann der Ebbstrom, der jetzt inzwischen eingesetzt hat, ungehindert in die Nordsee abfließen. Taj Boyd. Oh, 
I think with this crowd, one of the best atmospheres in college football, and the defensive line, defensive tackles and defensive ends that Clemson has, they get enough pressure on Jameis Winston. Huh. Maybe he makes a mistake, and I think Clemson wins the ball game. Oh. What is going on behind <laughs> you, Paul? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> block it. Block, block it. No, uh, no, 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 En, dan, en, en overzicht uit de kranten dan. This is Prime News. First at 5.30. Kia ora, good evening. Mark Very Ryan. hairy tummy. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> who are you and where is he? <laughs> Thanks, James. Well, um... عودة للشأن المغربي حيث نظم أمس مرصد حماية ال. Good evening, I'm Oprah. <laughs> Anything coming up on OWN we should know about? Uh, it's a great season for OWN. Tonight's the big finale for the have and have not. Transfer. <laughs> oh! Oh, Larry hung up on Oprah. That's not a valid extension. You know what? This is so I had had enough of her. Here with us this morning. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, It'd be yeah. nice to be out there. Right now. Oh, well, the studio had a little bit of a ruckus. <laughs> we'll have to see what that's about. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Uh, um, oh. Okay. <laughs> Wow, don't you love how the wind can just change directions like that at the drop of a hat? Anyway, ITD officials say do not drive in this. It is incredibly dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh. There has been a lot of uh, interest in the goal. And the goal sons, and they are going to start favourites. His game plan is to use his speed. It's Morgan Freeman, I think, right there in the Capitol steps. To you have Rick, a Costanza you know, wallet, oh by the way. <laughs> down, <laughs> down goes lot. And the top 25 also hears the hotty toddy chance now that Ole Miss cracks the top, cracks the uh, cracks the pole at top, at a 25. You see that lovely lady there? She does go to Auburn. I want to admit that, but she also this Alabama, and that's AJ McCarron's girlfriend. Okay, and right there on the right is Dee Dee Bonner. That's AJ's mom. Wow, I'm telling you, quarterbacks, you get all the good looking <laughs> women. Ah, it's a, what a beautiful woman. Wow, he's, AJ's doing some, some things right down in So if you're a youngster in Alabama, start getting the football out and throw it around the backyard with pop. Huh. Yeah, you better do what we tell you. There's a sky full of strats, better grab an umbrella. I make it rain. I make it rain on them homes. I make it rain. I make it rain on them roads. I make it rain. I make the highs and the lows, I make it rain. I make the rain and the snow. If I tell you a storm's coming, I'm not lying. Predict so well, you'd swear I'm a mine. As we go back down to the south, mostly clear, huh? Oh, my broom is backwards. Oh, that was on purpose. I don't get much practice at being a witch. Here we go. As we scan across, oh. <laughs> the one nice thing about the Midwest when you get all those nice colors out there. And speaking of the colors, we have uh, Tyler, Me Tyler Weir. Thanks, guys. All of us, whoop, there went my clicker, we are dealing with the intense portion of the cloud cover across the area. Okay, I'm just going to have to bend down and pick it up. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little excited about the rain. My clicker has broken because I dropped it a little violently. Man tied tail, girlfriend bobblehead night. The first 1,000 fans will get a box that we imagine will look something like this. Open it up, and of course, it'll be empty since the girlfriend never existed. There will also be a special section at the baseball park reserved for fans to sit with their imaginary friends, and there will also be an imaginary kiss cam. Right there. <laughs> Now, your Nineteen Action News first alert forecast. What was that? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. 
<laughs> All right, I got some coal to talk about. <laughs> All right, so right here. <laughs> All right. Shower chances by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And thanks for the uh, hard to get applause, Nicole and Kevin. Yes. How's that, Carol? Is that good enough for you? Okay, well, I'll try a little harder next time. Thanks so much. Ozzy is a father of 12, he has nine grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Wow. Good for Ozzy. Now, it may be his birthday, but, Carol, when it comes to the weather, we want no monkey business, okay? All good things. It's 49 degrees <laughs> in Philadelphia, Nicole. Uh, we have a temperature of 30. I tried. Uh, you, know, I know, you can't even I know. give me that, can you? Uh, 38 degrees up through okay. the Allentown area. It nearly as great as it will be this weekend, Nicole. Well, Carol, I would say that forecast is bananas, but I know that's going to oh, be completely wasted on you. So I won't. Taking it back right now. All right, changing gears, 548 now. Carol, I understand you have some good news and possibly a halo behind you. Possibly a halo. Nicole, of it's course always, a halo. It always comes into question when it, it's you and a halo. And I know, sentence. isn't it odd <laughs> that I'm the one always carrying this halo around? Uh, well, we have a beautiful start to the day, Nicole. For our time now, 6.30. Let's get you a check on weather with meteorologist Carol Erickson in the Weather Center. Nicole, morning, Carol. it's just perfect out there. Breathtaking. It's wonderful. We've Lovely got... like you, Carol. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's how I would describe it. It's me too. Yeah, I knew uh, you would. Nicole. <laughs> Well, Oscar-winning actress Reese Witherspoon has admitted mouthing off to an Atlanta police officer, but now we're actually seeing it. You know my name, sir? You're about to find out who I am. I can see you pulling that whole, don't you know who I am? Come on. You said you could. Don't, or you I, couldn't. I could see you doing it. Oh, you, yeah, I you don't know you me at all. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Oh, don't sorry. you know. See? Uh, yes, uh, that that was an interesting little exchange. I'm sure she regrets, along with that last glass of whatever. So you can relax through Tuesday, Carol. Uh, I think on. you're off the I plan So on. enjoy those few days, Absolutely. okay? Because, you know, by Thursday, the rain, we may need you back. Just saying. All right. Carol, oh, great you, story, right? It's a wonderful story. And these dogs that do so much and serve so well, they've got to be brought back oh, from wherever absolutely. they've served and, and stay with their families. It's yeah. just, it's it, their human families. Mm -hmm. All the same. Nicole, do you notice? I don't see you anything. Didn't, you didn't no. call any attention to it. I, um, I didn't call attention to it because I know you it's You don't been... see it. It's my <laughs> halo. <laughs> Nicole. It's been manufactured, yeah, let's just exactly. put it that way. It's, it's awful when you have to call attention to your own halo. <laughs> it's the only way but, you're going to get it. <laughs> that's right. Somehow or other. Yeah, it's Tornado Alley. They yes. named it that, that way for a reason. But Carol, I'm looking at your shot, and it's just beautiful. Is that a why, halo? Why is this any different? I see. <laughs> Uh, Nicole, you seem surprised every Who time you see this. Who ordered for that halo? I'm always surprised because you, you and Halo don't exactly go arm in arm. You've seen me in the hallway. This is always with me. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, look at this. This is the sunshine that we have out uh, this morning, and it's going to, it, it's fine. It's comfortable. It barely burns the back of my head. But later on today, this is, I'm going to have to step away from the halo, I think, because this is going to be uh, a, a pretty oppressive sunshine. <laughs> Sounds good. Wendy, thanks very much. And that's all from the London team this evening. We're back tomorrow morning. Tonight, authorities say a Black Friday shoplifter in Grand Forks abandoned a cart full of stolen items and hit a store employee with her car as she sped away from the parking lot. Of course, you know, it was very funny, very, very early in the morning. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go look at this family. Come here. Woo! Oh! Oh! Wendy! Wendy! Come now, those new shoes oh, are great. Oh, Wendy! Oh, man. That, that's a photographer Darren fan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I want to let everyone know that technically LAX is still accepting incoming flights, but we are doing that at less than our half of our normal arrival rate. We are only accepting those flights on the south airfield. We're not accepting any flights on the north airfield. Passengers that were ready to leave at the time this incident happened have either left on their aircraft or they are holding in the terminals. All of the amenities are available in the terminals. Oh my goodness, the costumes. <laughs> Arnold, don't fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Arnold just fell, our photographer. Is he okay? <laughs>
He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the Old Town Pet Resort, <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Grimm has filed a police report. He's thinking about he's thinking about suing. I'm sorry, it's just the banana, the image. The well police image. are looking to see if there was indeed any fraud. The carnival game has been shut down in the meantime. <laughs> I know, I feel bad, but it's just the banana. It's such a sad yeah. sight. You know, he's walking with a stuffed it's, banana. It's a sad sight, all right. <laughs> My philosophy is if you're a man at night, you got to be a man in the morning. So Ooh. if I go out all night and I go dancing and I'm drinking, you know what? I still have a job to do and I ha still have a goal to do. <clears throat> I like that. I, I have a feeling my co-host, that that's what you live by, right? If you're a man at night, then you got to be a man in the morning. Okay, Ryan, good luck to you. We'll be watching. Uh, thank you. How are they going to get enough material? <laughs> what was the question that stumped him? <laughs> what, 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 what a woman can say. Oh, what, what a woman can <laughs> I guess silence uh, impresses him. No, it's just a woman couldn't say anything. He is good looking. I need to do some more meal on that. Seriously, how are they going to put together like 22, 13 weeks of programming? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, he is cute. Did you see the plaid? Yeah. And you, you should loosen your tie like that because that's sexy. It really is. Woo! And what do you say? I'm a man at night. What is it? You know, I'm a man at night and a man in the morning. It's gonna come off. <laughs> Look out! We got a we got a lash. We got a lash off. Uh, let me oh tell you about God. this, you know. Snorting. <laughs> you live grape nuts all over here. What is happening? Come on! It's everywhere. Clean up. Yeah. Oh. oh. Let's go to the roads. I please. can't believe you just ate that. They're you can't. Little, I believe it. They're a little soggy. It is elephant that you oh, are they, crazy. They taste like shoes. Oh. Oh, I smell smells like feet. Feet. I smell feet. Feet. <laughs> Bro, You are crazy. You just ate that right off the floor. Oh, I don't think oh, that's a great Oh, boy. I don't think those I don't are think that's a great nuts. That is beyond the three second rule. Way beyond. I think that might be dog duty. Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> those were not grape nuts that I ate. Ugh. I kept finding more and more of it on the floor, and I thought it was grape nuts because it looked just like it. My cat threw up, and I must have stepped in it. And that's so what I disgusting. ate. Disgusting. I thought it was grape nuts. I ate cat vomit <laughs> right here on television. It's disgusting. Oh. It's on the bottom of my God. shoe. And I thought it was grape nuts. And it's cat vomit. I'm going to throw up. Nada <laughs> yela.